We're at the halfway mark of the month. Kia ora, hello. I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday weather update recorded on May the 15th. And we're dealing with this big high, the one that brought us the frosts, now moving to the east and dragging down a subtropical airflow. But oh, look at this little guy. Got a little wee low pressure zone trying its best to be a weather event. Uh, it is going to fall apart. It's going to fall apart quite quickly as we go through Thursday. But for today, Wednesday, that little low is helping to drive in this warmer airflow along with the cold front. And that's why we are getting a few thunderstorms, some heavy downpours, and there's even the risk of an isolated uh, tornado or isolated wind event. Always possible with this sort of instability we get. Very hit and miss though, so don't get too, too worried about that. And you can track those heavy showers on the Met Service rain radar. But the southwesterly flow that's going to destroy that low on Thursday starts all the way here, south of the Indian Ocean, southwest of uh, Western Australia, and it gets stuck under this belt of high pressure, this really big belt of high pressure. The windy southwest has come in to the New Zealand area. Farmers and growers in Australia not happy with these big blocks of high pressure. I know some here in New Zealand think it's dry. It's a lot drier just across the ditch. Let's have a look at this evening, six o'clock this evening. You can see the main rain band here. So by this evening, most of it's gone out to sea. Some heavy downpours remain around parts of the North Island. They'll be isolated. And then further down the country, with the low itself falling apart here, you can see the east to southeast winds driving in a few showers. But let's animate Thursday. So going through tonight and across Thursday here, that all clears away. And then a south to southwesterly flow. That's what comes in as we go through Thursday, bringing a drop in temperatures again to some of you in the south before the next uh, windy westerly arrives. Rainfall wise for the next 48 hours, you can see a bit of wet weather crossing around the North Island, and then that change comes in the colder weather with the next front for the South. Most places are only in the one to 10 millimeter mark, uh, but around Taranaki, some of these coastal areas of Waitomo, and also out towards the Eastern side of Bay of Plenty, those are the areas along with Fiordland that are likely to get the heaviest of the rain or showers. So here we are at lunchtime Thursday. There is the colder change around the lower south. Otago, Fiordland, uh, Southland getting that temperature drop. Maybe South Canterbury as well, although mostly dry there. Showers in the south and in the west, there'll be snow flurries along the mountains and ranges. And then in the north here, showers with the southwesters, southerlies in Wellington, southwesterlies blowing through Auckland. It'll be blustery in exposed areas. And eastern areas have a nor'wester turning a bit more south to southwesterly later on. Now, temperatures are about to drop a little bit further uh, than they already have. I want to show you just very quickly the temp uh, temperature departure from normal. In other words, how much warmer or cooler is it? This is thanks to our friends at the weather company. So this is where we are in the early hours of Friday morning. We'll animate the next 48 hours. And I want you to notice the blue expanding in both Australia and in the southern part of New Zealand by the time we reach midnight Saturday and the early hours of Sunday morning. So Australia's got this big southerly, and then we start to get the beginning of that southerly here in the lower part of the country. But properly, uh, the, the cold change properly doesn't arrive until next week, around Tuesday. We'll show you that in a moment. So this is what happens on Friday. The cold surge comes into Tasmania and into Victoria. On the New Zealand side, we've got the warm nor'westers blowing through. So while Thursday's a bit of a temperature drop in the south of New Zealand, Friday warms back up again with those nor'westers. Around the rest of the country, maybe a couple of isolated showers, not much, but they'll be clearing from about Auckland northwards. Most places are dry, with the exception of Fiordland on Friday. As we go into Saturday, the colder change in Australia sweeps up to Canberra and Sydney and other areas along the eastern coastline, but New Zealand is still pretty much under a subtropical airflow or it starts to return as high pressure here moves out to the east. So it warms up as we go into Saturday for most places, except for Southland, Fiordland and Otago, where that next cooler change comes on in and there'll be snow on the mountains and ranges. By Sunday, things change a bit and we've got another surge of colder air. This is the main one I was talking about that's coming in for New Zealand on Tuesday. It starts with our friends over in Hobart on Sunday. They'll be getting it there in the southern part of the island. And then on the New Zealand side, we've got this weird, messy, low pressure zone to the north. And I said yesterday, this is going to change. And sure enough, it is going to. So we've got a mild airflow here, perhaps a little bit of wet weather trapped, sort of stuck 
between it all. And then we get into Monday of next week and we no longer see three lows in a row, which I thought was unusual, but we do see a, a larger low out here to the east and another area of low pressure potentially starting to form here in the Tasman Sea. So it's colder and showery around the southeastern corner of Australia. For New Zealand, it's not too bad on Monday, but Tuesday is when the low out to the east coupled with the high out to the west help to produce this bigger southerly flow in across New Zealand. And there may also be another area of low pressure forming in here. So there's still a little way to go before we lock this in. The shape of the high, the shape of the low, and our mountains and ranges make all the difference between whether or not rain comes into Canterbury and we get some wet weather into dry parts of the Upper South Island as well. And a similar story for the eastern side of the North Island where for now, it looks a bit dry and windy with those westerlies. But certainly next week, a proper southerly change coming in to the South Island to begin with and then likely into the North Island as well. That is all from me for today. Back again tomorrow, Thursday, we've got our next update uh, covering the southerly changes for us, but also our next Australia update. And if you're a farmer and grower in New Zealand, those Australian updates where we talk a lot more about what's going on in this southeastern corner may also be very helpful for you at working out some of the bigger picture weather patterns that are going on. Anyway, that is all from me. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you again on Thursday.